Hi, loving friends of lights. Chris here from Rocky Light. Hi, loving family. It's Fiona from um, awesomecreekreiki.com and Universal Love Ignites. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day. So first, we want to start off with what this video is about today, and this is the healing part of getting your chakras back to you, cleansed and purified through the Creator's light and love. And that's what this whole video is about. So we hope that you've watched our last seven videos, and they are the informational parts of, of why to avoid having your chakras removed. Um, we're very excited about this video today. We have lots of techniques and skills that we're going to add to this. So we'll be using forensic healing, um, theta, Reiki, and light language, and sacred activations, and other healing modalities such as orbs and angels and crystals and cards and things like that, symbols that we use to bring back all your chakras, cleanse and purify through the Creator's light. Um, just a little bit about me. I, am a, I have a diploma in forensic healing. Um, I also have advanced theta healing. I'm a sacred activations practitioner, masters of the masters. I'm a Reiki master and Holy Fire Reiki, a Sui Reiki, Karuna Reiki, and Lemurian Reiki, and I also practice Jikadin Reiki. Fiona and myself also teach light language workshops about igniting your inner wisdom, igniting your inner truth, connecting to your star galactic family, and so forth. Beautiful, beautiful language that's from the heavens and from Creator. And Fiona? I am working towards my forensic healing diploma, so I did my life training um, and I'm doing my practicum hours right now. I am also a master teacher of the Holy Fire uh, um, to uh, Usui uh, Reiki and Karuna Reiki as well, um, master in that. Um, I do Akashic record reading. Um, I do uh, light language with Chris, we work together, um, and I do animal healing and animal communication. I do theta healing as well, and um, yeah, so always learning. Always learning and growing and expanding. So we both represent the Alliance of Light, the pure source light of all that is. Many healers support us, the Council of Twelve support us, Archangels support us, and we're speaking on behalf of the chakras too. Um, we're here to protect the chakras, our God seals, your seals. Um, a lot of you are, are giving them away uh, to uh, not knowing what you're giving them away to and don't understand the long-term consequences to having your chakras removed. So anybody that supports chakra removal is not a pure source light. i got to state that clear today. And so we're here to just bring these chakras back to people. Anybody that wants them returned back to them, that's what this video is for, for anybody that would like them returned. Okay. We need your intention, mm -hmm. we need your permission, yeah. and you need to visualize yourself receiving this and be open to receiving this healing, mm -hmm. which is going to be very powerful here today for you. So for this to work, you have to watch the informational part of this video, of the seven mm -hmm. series that before this one, so you understand before the angels will give you permission for this healing to occur for you, okay? So first we're going to start by opening up, and then we're going to do some shielding. And we're going to do some hydration. So I'd like you to get your water handy. So if you have some water with some lemon juice, maybe your favorite crystal, maybe you can get that ready. Maybe you can pause it right now and then you can come back and, and get ready for this healing. That's right. You might want a, a blanket because as you release some energies, you might start to feel really cold. And as you rehydrate areas of your body that have been dehydrated for a while, you're going to feel some chills probably. So um, a journal might be helpful as well, but definitely something to drink and perhaps um, some some essential oil, uh, frankincense is very good, or something soothing like lavender as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up. We're opening up with Forensic Healing by Marisa Russo. All right, so we'll open up together. So, hi, Chris. Hi, Fiona. Allow myself, myself to, be to be a pure, a pure and clear and conduit in connection to all that exists, all, all source energy, energy all, all universal, universal beings, powers, and all enlightened beings. beings. This healing is in your highest interest. Okay, and good. So I now request access to the divine matrix, divine protection, divine blessings, divine guidance, DNA coding, syphilic healing forces, healing protective words of power, spontaneous healing forces. I now summon forth the star wisdom, the ancient wisdom of the Maria, the ancient wisdom of the great ones. I call forth the Maham energy. Oh, 
We have full permission from the High Masters. I'm hitting to bow through all of you in this moment and time forever. And I summon forth the Creator to be here who is already here, who grants full mm -hmm. permission of this healing. So you ready? Was the first one we're going to do now is let's call Archangel Michael. Let's call it all your spirit guides, all your sending masters, anything that you use that helps you that through all your healing that you do right and now. And Archangel Metatron as well. Archangel Metatron. Sacred geometry and connecting mm -hmm. all your Archangel shoulders. Uriel. Okay, so help uh, turn uh, your adversities into understandings for you as well. Michael for shielding. Raphael for for healing for yourself. So we want to call forth any archangel good thing. Also call forth the essential ascension angels as well. There's also the unknown angels that no one ever communicates to. They're very powerful. There's many angels on many levels that people don't even talk about. There's angels, we all talk about archangels, but they want to help us. They're omnipresent, omnipotent in all ways. But we, there's many other angels that want to assist with this as well. Okay? Even orbs want to come in. Orbs and unicorns want to be present too as well today. Mother Mary, Queen. Mm -hmm. You believe in unicorns? You ever watched The Last Unicorn? I think it's an older video. Really beautiful movie. Watched it as a kid. Always inspired me and ignited that unicorn essence inside me. So we're using the unicorns today to ignite and heal your ch chakras today and also orbs as well. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we want to get you shielded. It's in a protective, safe place right away. So we're going to start with a symbol called Una. And this one, I want you now to imagine yourself in a bright purple pyramid right now. Beautiful pyramid. Beautiful, divine rays on every angle. It's cleansing you and purifying you and restoring your sacred temple. No negativity can come inside this purple pyramid while you're doing this healing session today. Only pure Christ light or pure source light or universal light can only come down through the top of this pyramid inside of you to do this healing for you, okay? Anyway, it's in your psychic attacks or energy drains. is going to bounce off this purple pyramid and it's going to allow you to heal now. It's going to allow you to heal, okay? Now what we're going to do is it's knee. Another shielding simple. It's like an onk. It goes up and protects you. If you think about it, you've been like an octagon bubble. It upgrades your DNA. It takes dormant DNA and integrates it back in because it's not junk DNA. It has a beautiful, powerful essence of that DNA that helps awaken you. Okay, so it's going to bring that back in there. It's also going to protect you and shield anybody that has any negative thoughts towards your psychic attacks. It's going to bounce off of the shield and go to their heart and open their heart. So anybody that wants to send you a psychic attack, Go, go right ahead, because this is going to bounce off of me and go right back to your heart and open it. And that's probably more painful for you. So that one's going to help beautiful. Okay, next one we have is Lou. Lou is your own innate shielding system, like a furnace and like a fire. Imagine it stoking it with love. Put some wood in there. Put some love in there. Some I'm beautiful. I'm valued and need here. What I have to share is valued here. It's just keep saying all good things about yourself and feeding that, your self-worth. That's your own innate system, shielding system. And it creates like an orb, a bubble around you. Next we know is Shuna. So this protects you from negative thought forms, protects you from dark entities, rituals, ceremonies, voodoos and curses, breaks habits, <laughs> negative habits, protects against dragons and snakes and serpents, protects against renegades and free floating thoughts, protects against phantom pain and it shields you and protects you on all levels. All right, I'm bringing in Fern. And Fern is about release, anything that needs to be released. And Viga is um, forgiveness. It's a very powerful forgiveness uh, symbol. Okay, so now all these symbols just head in, just visualize them all coming into you. And if you want them integrated into you, all you have to do is say yes. Let's see. Una. Lu. Shuna. Fun. <laughs> You're now in a protective shielding. I now run Mother Mary activation. I run now Mary Magdalena activation, Christ Conscious activation to shield you, protect you, and life grid. All right, let's get our water handy now. Everybody, get your water handy for me. We're going to do a hydration scan list now. So what we're going to do now is so no matter how much water you drink, there's certain parts of your body that are dehydrated and will always remain dehydrated. You can be under a waterfall and drinking water all day, but you're still not going to get water in these areas, such as your chakras or your light bodies. Um, and so maybe you have lots of hypernatremia inside of you. You have lots of salt, a lot of sodium inside of you so that you can try to hydrate these areas. So we're going to also get that out of your system. We're going to balance and correct these areas, such as maybe you have some dehydration in your DNA. Maybe in your blood, electrolytes, your cells, your neurological, your potassium, all kinds of aspects of your body can be dehydrated. So you want to 
allow water to go into these areas for you, okay? So we're also going to be cleansing vaccines as well, like vaccine damages as well with this hydration scan list. So maybe you receive vaccines when you're one, two, or three, or maybe you had the flu shot recently. We're going to help cleanse and purify from this from your system as well. As well as toxins such mm -hmm. as mercury, aluminum, boron, mm -hmm. lead, polonium, beryllium, uranium, and barium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want you now to get your water for me, okay? You can take a look if you want. And Dr. Emoto is about the power of prayer, right? The power of prayer mm -hmm. under our water. Positive, loving into our, into our water. So we want to energize the water. So we're going to grab our right hand, our palm chakra. And you're going to put it up over top of this thing. And as we're stating these, you're going to um, visualize love and purity going inside Ooh. of these. Okay? So we're going to say, I, in your name, choose to safely release all vaccines, causes relating to any conditions or diseases in my body. I also choose to safely release neurotoxins, toxins such as mercury, aluminum, boron, lead, polonium, beryllium, uranium, and barium. Barium, and re remove these toxins safely from your body. We also want now to this hydration will, will balance in your body, your DNA, your RNA, your chakras, your light bodies, and all aspects of your physical and metaphysical being. And your immune system. Your immune system, yes. So I want you now just to charge this water and visualize light going into this water. This water is highly charged from the Christ light, highly charged from source light and love. And on the count of three, I'd like you to drink that water. One, two, three. Hlastia na colonia. Wow, that's a heavy energy. That's going to go in there and cleanse and purify all areas now. Any areas that were blocked, like your chakras. Mm -hmm. And in the brain as well. It's opening yeah. up, cleansing. So water's going to go in there. They're going to start spinning now. They're going to start opening. And then you're not going to want to rip them out, right? These are what things are giving us. Mm -hmm. MSG, vaccines, chemtrails, for a reason. Fluoride, for a reason. Koi, for a reason. Yeah, and the, the radiation, the yes. Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth. All, all these things that thing. put our dormant to sleep, our DNA mm -hmm. to sleep. Mm -hmm. And the pineal gland yes. as well. Mm -hmm. It's a different approach to ripping them out. Ripping them out is going on to their side. Okay? All right. Now we're going to go forward. So also good things we want to talk about now is we want to do some meridian. Line up. Oh, hold on. First, I'm hearing that we want to open up with a miracle prayer. That's what I'm hearing. I want to open up with a miracle prayer first. We have Mother Mary with us right mm -hmm. now. Kuan Yin as well. Mm -hmm. Being right. healing around the planet of St. Germain just to bring that that uh, violet flame of purity and transmutation as we bring the, the, the healing prayer through to you. All right, so I'm gonna grab my book, scary book, and here we go, mm -hmm. all together. So, miracle prayer, creator. We beg thee with the strength and greatness of the right arm. Of thy right arm, we accept your people's song and elevate and purify them. Please, powerful one, those who pursue your uniqueness. Guard them as a pupil of an eye. Bless them, purify them, have mercy on them. May your righteousness always reward them. Powerful and holy one, in goodness lead your people. Unique and almighty one, turn to your people, turn. Who remember your holiness. Accept their cries and hear their pleas. O Nora of mysteries. Bless is the name of his noble kingdom forever. <laughs> There, and now we're nice, we're hydrated, we're shielded, we're protected. Now what we want to do is we want to do like a raise you for you. Now I'm hearing raise you right now, it's raise you. We're going to jump in the raise you now. Because mm -hmm. so we want to do like an empowerment thing. We want to bring a bunch more energy through you. That's going to activate so I can line up all your meridians. Mm -hmm. And start to push more toxins out of you now. So there's a big tube, right? There's a big tube. There's a prying tube, tube. To create it right above your head, okay? It's like a giant shower of light mm -hmm. and that opens up inside you and aligns all your mm -hmm. chakras, your main chakras, mm -hmm. and aligns your connection to source and to um, Mother Earth. So a lot of you probably have these closed or tight. It's closed, mm -hmm. really tight. Or there's some blockages up there, possessions up there, and it's really not working. So we want to do a raise you empowerment for you and just allow this energy to flow through you. We so need to relight mm -hmm. and reconnect it. So you get permission to connect to your energy on all levels, shapes and forms. Just say yes, yes. Good. Open 
open that tube up. Get it open. Get it flowing. Get it connected. Yes. Okay. So we want to work on one liver first, uh, one meridian first, and that is your uh, liver meridian. So it's important because we're doing the water, we want to get the toxins out of your system, okay? Because what happens is uh, your liver, it stores glucose for energy, and so if you don't have the glucose in there, well then you're going to store toxins, right? You're storing all these toxins, you don't have the glucose in there, so you don't have energy reserves, right? So you just have a liver full of toxins, and believe me, that's what they want. They want you to have toxins. That's your safe house. That's your first defense is your liver. So we want to give you a tapping point for that one, and that one is on the inside of your big toe. Okay, so I know you got to get down there, but we got to get down there and tap the inside of our big toe. Okay, and you're going to tap this area of the inside of your big toe. And you're going to say at the same time, I choose to forgive and feel free. Okay, I choose to forgive and feel free. You're just going to tap this one right now on the bottom of your foot. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to line your meridian that goes up your leg. Up in here, I'm going to line that up for you again. Okay, so let's just tap that one right now for me. Okay, some good ways of keeping your liver nice and cleansed are getting some glutathione's in there. Okay, such as some asparagus. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, spinach, beets, parsley. Mm -hmm. And these are all good for detoxifying the, mm -hmm. with the glutathione. Yes, and it's also responsible for giving you energy, increasing your energy levels. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful level to be at, right? When our liver is not functioning very well, it causes a lot of stress on the adrenal glands as well. And the adrenals is the adrenaline reaction, so that's the stress hormone. And when we have stress all the time, just constantly, our adrenals can really go into a fatigue phase. Mm -hmm. And that, give, that keeps us in a state of constant fear. And this is what it feeds the dark side. So mm -hmm. we want to free ourselves from this fear. We want to empower ourselves with, with love and with peace. Mm -hmm. And bring, bring our hormones back into balance. Okay, so this we want to do is your lung meridian. Lung meridian is right here. Tapping points for right here. Okay, so this one is why I choose to I choose to feel whole and I choose to trust.